hey guys welcome back to my channel if it is your first time coming across the channel or coming across the space my name is loli Surunga, and if you're a returning subscriber welcome back darling so on my previous vlog i told you guys that i bought this straightener from the remington straightener so this morning i'm going to the office and i just want to open it with you guys and then straighten my hair and we see the quality we like just check whether the straightener is good or not so we're going to do that and then i will show you guys my fit for the day before i leave so like after i'm done with the hair so let's straighten the hair and see how it goes let's first unbox the straightener wow okay so like i said it is the remington brand it's the pro ceramic extra wide digital ceramic straightener okay <clears throat> i already took out like the the cello tape thing that was here because i wanted to put the receipt in the box so that for warranty or whatever case okay my receipt for him out okay it's nothing there okay, I don't know where my scissor is okay and this and this box okay, I don't know what this is supposed to be um okay here we've got a manual of some sort i guess a booklet with all the information right and yeah and then what is this this looks like this looks like you use to rest or actually <laughs> okay this is how the straightener this is how the straightener looks it's got these wide um wide plates that's how it looks and it's digital so it's got this um Thing there where you can read what it, the temperatures and stuff and here i guess you switch it on and then put up or down the temperature and it uses a turn plug i'm assuming that this little thing is a yep actually i don't know but i'm assuming this thing wrists like this right. i'm assuming you wrist <laughs> i actually don't know this is my assumption of how this babe works this thing but anyway let us let's now straighten the hair Wow, that is hot. That goes on hot very quickly. Love it. Okay, it's like on 190 now. Is it going up? Okay. Anyway, this is how my wig looks now it hasn't been straightened since um i bought it and you can see the ends are just doing that also i don't have a doll i don't have a head doll which i need to buy so i'm improvising and i'm using those bars to put the hair up 
am going to increase this to like 200 degrees. Okay. done straightening the hair what do you guys think like it's giving shape it's giving gabriella union it's giving i like it what do you guys think i really like it i love that the straightener goes from like zero to a hundred literally like as soon as you switch it on it's hot you don't have to wait for it to get hot and it's quite um quick i increased the heat just because i wanted it to be quick but yeah i think it's for now i'm happy with it tell me what you think about the hair what do you think about the hair is it giving is it this is what i want <laughs> okay let me show you my fit for the day and then i it's almost eight o'clock then i am off to work and when i come back we are going to unpack my rooms i'm done unpacking the kitchen like the kitchen's done now i just need to do the bedrooms so today we'll start with the guest bedroom because um there's not much there and then obviously my bedroom it's all the clothes that we need to unpack but we will do that when i come back from work let me show you my fit for the day I forget that I have to take this down so that you can see. The suit is from Legit. I bought it. Ooh. Yeah, so it's quite, it's flurry here and long sleeve. Yeah, it's just easy throw. I think matching sets are a quick like throw on outfit that you don't have to think a lot about absolutely love this i got it from legit like um a while ago but it's time to go to work now let's get this bread darling hey guys i just came back from the office and i don't know if it's me being tired from all the ups and downs and moving in that i've been doing or if it's because it's hot or if it's because it's fatigue or end of year fatigue i don't know but i'm tired i'm just tired like waking up is starting to become a struggle and i don't know what to account the tiredness to but i'm tired so i want to actually just unpack a few boxes before i even sit down because once i sit i'm not getting up um also if you're watching this video and you've not watched my previous vlogs just to give you back context i've moved into a new place and we're unpacking um 
my boxes so yeah that's what we're doing so i'm just going to start unpacking before i sit down because i shame if i just sit down now i'm not getting up so like i'm not even gonna change i'm just going to as i am right now i'll just take off my shoes and wear my crocs and then yeah let's see how far we can go that i am vlogging with the quality that's bad at this point i told you guys once the sun sets at night i can't vlog but i just want to show you my kitchen light is flickering and i've switched it on and off many times i don't know what to do also let me show you and i'll tell you why it looks the way it does okay please look at it flickering like why is it doing that anyway the reason the light is open is because when i was moving in the couch i remember i told you guys i've got a problem with my couch it's too big and i actually want to sell it so they had to lift the couch up and it hit the light it didn't break so here's the cover for the light so i must now decide I must decide if I'm gonna attempt to put the light cover back on or wait for a miracle to happen, if you know what I mean. <laughs> but why is the light flickering? Like it's annoying me because it's even making a sound. And if I switch it off, okay, it's fine. I'll switch it off when I sit down and watch TV anyway as you guys saw in the previous clips i was just trying to pack um some of the boxes one two three four i've unpacked four boxes um i'm proud of my progress we're doing well and the last clip where i was just like throwing things out guys i told you i have a hoarding problem so with me unpacking things i'm just trying to get rid of things that i don't need anymore so i'm taking my time to like go through everything so i can throw away things that i don't need they're taking up space unnecessarily so yeah um today is okay i'll close this vlog up tomorrow so i'll see you guys tomorrow <music> people it's a saturday morning today and honestly i woke up upset because the sun woke me up at like half past six and it's a saturday morning why am i waking up at half past six i was upset but it's fine it actually did me good to wake up at that time because um today uh, a colleague of mine bless her soul she offered to take me to a place where i can get curtains so remember um a couple of days ago i went looking for curtains so she was like no she knows a place where i can buy curtains i'm like that's great because mr price and sheet street had a very limited um selection so we're gonna do that so she's coming to pick me up at half past nine and yeah we're gonna go shop for curtains guys adulting is a scam if you can avoid becoming an just avoid 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 so yeah i don't know if i'll be able to vlog where we're going um 
but if not then i can just show you guys what i got when i come back see you later good morning guys just an update from yesterday um geez i spent the whole day going up and down um at shops and yeah so we went to china mall actually so my colleague took me to china mall um to look for curtains and they had some really nice stuff but the curtains were really expensive um well especially the ones that i liked they were like super expensive and I ended up not getting any curtains at the China mall there. I just felt like they were overly priced. And then um, what I did manage to do though, I asked them to take the lace that I already had um, to convert it to being able to put it into a rod. So at least I managed to do that. But for curtains, I had to go back to Mr. Price. There was some that I liked, but they were not enough. I think I needed like four and they only had two. They're not enough to cover the two windows. So I'm a little like ugh, over it. I think I'll just wait until I go to Joburg to find curtains where I usually buy curtains in Joburg. But what I did buy, um, then after China Mall, um we, i went to macro i got the washing machine they'll deliver that uh on monday i'll show you guys when that gets here and then yeah so what i did get at china mall which is what i wanted to show you guys i bought this um cutlery cutlery set thing i don't know what you call it but yeah this is what i bought i do have one now but it's plastic so i just wanted to change it and i wanted a wood one so i got this i think it was like 180 i really like the wood material and then i also want to upgrade all my cutlery so i bought a whole set everything gold i bought myself a gold um cutlery set so these spoons there oh, teaspoons um spoons knife butter knives and forks and this is from what soul cook i guess is the little brand and these were about 90 rand i think 90 rand each and there's six of them um in a set so these will be going into my new so yeah i just wanted to i'm honestly like over using the cutlery that i've been using for the past many years and then i also bought this compass um grass that you can basically get from sheen and i just saw it there and i was like hey now so i just uh bought it there at the china mall and yeah that was it that i got from china city um yeah i just wanted to show you guys what i got so that i can um close this vlog today today's sunday so i'm gonna close it up finish editing it and post the video up today for sunday then i will start a new vlog for the coming week i'll start that after uploading this week i hope you guys um are enjoying the vlogs please do let me know if you're enjoying them and um do comment do you like and if you've not subscribed please do subscribe and i will see you on the next video bye